Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whenever you are. I'm going to be making a tutorial video on how to build an RPG game with the software Game Maker. If you don't have the software Game, game Maker yet, you can go to uh, yoyogames.com and up here in the right hand corner there's a download button. You can download the free version. Uh, there's a paid version for $50 as well that lets you use more resources. For this example, you can use the free version. I'm going to be using the Mac version, but this will also work on Windows. So let's get started here. First things first, we're going to make a sprite, which is just an image representing your uh, the objects in the game. That's this little Pac-Man icon right here. And we'll click on that. And we're going to name this Sprite Player. Okay. Now we're going to edit the sprite and open up this image and create a new image because this is the wrong size. We want it to be 32 by 48. Perfect. So you can see that created a, a different size sprite. Now we're going to make this, because it's your player, I'm going to make it blue. Um, let me choose. I want to choose kind of a lighter blue because this is going to be the top of the player. It's just going to be kind of like a box for this example or this first tutorial. Later I will start to uh, teach you how to do some spriting with some better images. Okay, so then I selected, that's too dark. So select a lighter color and then a slightly darker color. I would recommend very slightly darker color. It'll look better that way. In fact, I'm gonna re-grab this one and try it one more time here so it's not quite so dark. Perfect. Okay, now you're going to want to watch these coordinates down here on the bottom because we're going to start this box at uh, at 24 pixels. And, well, 0 and 24. So 0 on the X, 24 on the Y. So start that box and draw it all the way down. You can see we've got kind of like a, this is like the top of the box and this is like the side of the box which is a little shaded. So press the green arrow button there. And okay, there's a few things we need to change in our sprite properties real fast. First thing we're going to change is set the Y uh, origin to 24. Now you're going to click on this bounding box section, you're going to click full image, and then right after that you're going to click manual. And we're going to set the top here to 24 as well. Uncheck transparent because there are no transparent colors and then uncheck precise collision checking. So we're done here with our sprite for our player. Press OK. Now duplicate that sprite and name this one Sprite Wall. You can duplicate it by right clicking on it and then selecting duplicate. Now we'll edit this one and I'm just going to go up here on the top to transform and, or sorry images into black and white. So our wall is going to be black and white the player is going to be blue. Now what we need to just create an object. So create this blue uh, sphere right here. That's to create an object. We're naming this object player. And you can see right here we want to assign the sprite player to that object. Now we need to uh, do the same thing for the wall. Create an object, object wall, assign the wall sprite to that. And the wall needs to be solid because we're going to be colliding with this. So we want it to be solid and that will distinguish it from the objects that aren't solid like if you put grass or something in there. So Now open up the player object again by double clicking on it and we're going to add an event and this is going to be a step event which just means that this action will happen multiple times during the game continuously during the game. So do step, begin step and come over here on the right hand side and go to control and there should be a section that says execute code. Drag that into the actions. Now we're going to write some code. Yay! Your first little bit of code. I'm going to put in two uh, curly brackets to say that this is code and tab over, over four. Now the first code we're going to write is an if statement. So do if keyboard oops, check vk write and place free x plus 4 y four x plus equals 4 
So what this code does, I'm just going to explain it real quick if you've never done any coding before. It's pretty simple. It just checks to see if they've checked the right keyboard button. And if they have, it next checks to see if the, that, the space to the right of the player, four pixels, is empty. So we want to make sure it's empty before we move there because we don't want to move into inside of anything. So if it is empty, then it moves us over four pixels on the XY coordinate system and obviously X is uh, horizontal while Y is vertical. So now we're just going to copy this code because we don't want to type that a bunch of times because we have to do this four times for all of the arrow keys. So, so just copy it down four times. Let's change this one to uh, VK left and make that subtraction because that will move it to the left instead of addition make this one VK up and we want to change this to the Y coordinate and make it subtraction as well because the Y coordinate is reversed so negative is actually up okay and we're gonna do this one more time VK down and change this to the Y coordinate as well um, but we want it to be positive and I also just noticed that I forgot to change this to a Y which would have messed up our coding a little bit there but that should work like this. Um, so if you need to pause to catch up, you can. And I'll give you just a second. Okay, let's go. We're going to move on. And next we need to create a room. It's up here, this little white box. Create a room like this. And we're going to put some objects. Okay, first thing we need to do, though, is change the snap in this room. This will make it easier to place the object. So let's change the X to 32 and the Y to 24. That way our objects will fit in the room better. And I'm actually, uh, if you kind of come over here, you can see there's a backgrounds tab. I'm going to change my room background and make it like a green color because I want it to look like, like they're on grass, I guess. So you can see I did that. I, uh, I'm going to not show the snap. Snap is still on, but I'm just not going to show it. I'm going to come back to the objects tab and start placing in these walls, right? So we want to put some walls that our player can run into or else this game is going to be really boring. I don't know what kind of a game you're actually going to be building with this. Maybe you're building a, a Pokemon game or whatever and these are actually trees and you're going to change these images to make them look like trees or maybe, I don't know what you're building. Maybe you're building, maybe you're building the, a new two-dimensional top view Minecraft or something like that. But regardless, I'm sure it's going to be awesome. I'm super excited for you because this is maybe one of your first games that you've ever built and let me tell you game design is fun so okay so I built just a basic level here I don't know what yours looks like get creative with it do it however you want now let's try uh, let's try uh, let's try running the game it should it should run now so save your game I'm just gonna save this one as <clears throat> awesome RPG and maybe yours is uh, something else but that's what I'm going to save mine as. You can save it whatever you want. And I'm going to actually run this. Just press the green arrow up here at the top to run the game. And we'll see if there's any errors. No, it looks like it's working fine. And oh, it looks like we can move into the walls. Now, that's not a good thing because we don't want to be able to move into the walls, right? So let's uh Oh wait, we're not moving into the walls actually. We're just moving behind them, but we're we're showing on top still, so we need to fix that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a script. So up here at the top, there's a little green, uh, or there's a paper with a green arrow looking thing on it. Click on that. This is going to make a script. And I'm going to name it script uh, find depth. Because we need to change the depth of the, of the walls and of the player depending on where they are in the room. So this script is really simple. Usually you use a script if you're going to use this code for more than one thing. That way you don't have to retype the code for each object. But this script is going to be uh, depth equals y times negative 1. So what that essentially does is a negative depth is closer to you, so the higher up they are, it's going to push them back further. So you know, things that are lower on the screen are actually going to show in front of things that are further back on the screen, which is what we want. So come into your wall, add a uh, create event, and um, come over to control again, and you'll see right next to the code one, there's a script one. Drag over the script and just select the script that we just made.
and do the same thing with the player, only you want to do it in the step event because the player's depth needs to change depending on where he is in the room. The objects don't because because they're not actually going to move. It's just going to be right when they start. So let's drag this one over. And let's try running this game and see what happens. Okay, you can see our player can move around and look, the depth is right now. So he goes actually behind that instead of like jumping on top of it really weird looking so yeah this is the first tutorial so I'm gonna do some more I will uh, put in experience and other examples each time I'll be slowly teaching you how to build this RPG game and we can kinda go through it together if you guys have any questions or any issues with your code post them in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out also you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook. I'm putting those links in the description. So thank you guys for watching and you have a great day.